evening, ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? Tuesday, and that means it's live streaming time. Still no light in the on-air signs on my to-do list. <laughs> Lots of things in the to-do list right now. Hey, we have North Ace with us today, we have Dongle, we have all the guys. And I also remember to actually pull up the Twitch chat, so hello Twitch chat. You will not be abandoned today, not like, like last time. Oh, that was active. A little bit nicer with long, long sleeves. So, um, as you probably guessed from the, uh, the live stream title, the plan today is to do some more exploration. I'm gonna be heading in towards the core, and um, depending on how sidetracked I get, we'll likely make it. I think I only have like 50 jumps, uh, 54 jumps. We should be able to make 54 jumps tonight. So uh, that's the plan to uh, to make it in there. But um, let's just business as usual. Let's go and let's set up a um, let's set up a discount code. No, not not yet. A, a light goal is what uh, a famous last words. I mean, <laughs> you know how it is. I always get sidetracked. And then I find something else, and then all of a sudden I spend two hours going nowhere because I found something pretty to look at. That's how these expression streams usually go, so I'm expecting today's not going to be the difference. One thing that I actually need is I have not really positioned my microphone correctly, so I am just going to get this, and then I hope it's not going to be too noisy for you guys. Oh, 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 there we go, just outside of frame. Perfect. Can't have mics in frame. I know some live streamers, they like 142, 137. I think 142 mainly because I'm still working towards those 1042 referrals over in, uh, in Star Citizen and I am getting really close now. It's really slow going at the moment. Um, but to be honest, I haven't done that many. Um... No, 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 don't go. <laughs> uh, well, we can we can go a thousand and forty-two. That seems unlikely. Um, I don't think that is going to happen. One forty-two. Yeah, I usually when I just fly and live stream at the same time. I usually cover around a thousand light years uh, per hour, which is a rather slow pace. Um, and just to see how far we actually are from the core, I'm just gonna quickly check. Core, where are you? Let me just check it real quick. I am approximately three thousand away. So well, with a bit of luck, we should make it. Oh, did I miss a notification? Michael, thanks a lot for becoming a Patreon. Why notification? Why you know why you make no sound? Did you guys have a notification sound? But Michael, awesome! Thanks a lot for becoming a Patreon. You have sound. Okay, so it's just my monitoring that's not working. Which is odd. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to test that at some point. But okay, light goal is set 142. So for those of you who are new to the live stream, the way it works is if we get this live stream up to 142 likes before the end of the live stream, I'm gonna be setting up a discount code for you guys for the merch store, which you can find at d2eastore.com. And there's actually a bunch of new items over there. One of them is, I, I got mine, got my desk mat. Um, I, actually, I just want to show you guys, so you guys can see it here. Oop, there we go. So I got, as one of the new items, I got these desk mats. So you have these, um, you can see them relative size to like a headset and a keyboard. 
So they are basically like full desk size. They look like they're gonna cover the entire desk, but they're big enough that you can have a keyboard and a mouse on it. And it's just, I really like them. Rubber backing, um, stitched edges, super nice. They come in both the Galaxy variety, and also there is a, a Gas Giant variety. We can see here where we have like a, a double star, a little moon there, some rings and uh, and a Gas Giant. Really nice, I like that a lot. One of the other things that's also been added recently is the Space Bunnies t-shirts. <laughs> so now you can get Space Bunnies as well. Did Bunny quality check the mat? I'm pretty sure that um, if the Bunnies got their hands on the mat, they would be able to, uh, to chew through it relatively easy. They can go through anything. Yeah, the Space Bunnies are awesome. Anyway, discount code will be up if we reach 142 likes before the end of the live stream. Just jump back there. So the problem is, if I don't have sound, I'm gonna have to ha to rely on you guys to give me notifications then, because if I don't have sound, I can't see my own live stream when I'm streaming, so I don't I don't hear them or see them. 101 remaining. Oh well, we're going there quickly. We better jump in game then. Get some flying going. We. Oh yeah, by the way, I've I've finally added a button to my Steam Deck, uh, Stream Deck, so I can now like turn the Star Citizen code on and off. So I don't have to all of a sudden or constantly forget it, which I always do. So now I can just sit and push a button to turn it on and off, because I always forget. They come in kit sizes. Um, my son would love the bunnies. Um, I mean, they come in... Well, uh, it depends on how old your kids. They come in small adults, but... I don't even know if they make things in kit sizes from the supply I use. I'll have to check it. Um, but there is size guides in there so you can see it. If it's too small, then like I'll see what I can figure out. We should probably be able to make, uh, make it. Thirty bodies in the system, and I should probably put my face in that corner there instead so that you guys can actually see what's going on when we are doing FSS scans and all that. 30 bodies, but nothing of interest, so moving on. Smaller x smalls should do. They're, they aren't small, I know. Um, x small, I don't think they have them, but I'll see what I can do. Maybe they have some. Yeah, smalls are small, but there is a size guide in there where you can see measurements, um, for each size, so you can see if they will kind of fit. Um, else, again, as I said, we'll figure it out. Thirty bodies and systems, yes. <laughs> I'll probably also make some, a space body mark at some point. System scan complete. That means it's a double star, double star system with nothing else in it. So then we need to open FSS scanner because it's got to be empty. Joseph, I have, I have assessed the entire system every time I jump in. Um, yeah, that's too slow for me in terms of, uh, of, of progress. It's gonna take too long for every system. of interest. Moving on.
scan most things except snowballs. Yeah. My usual tactic is like open FSS scan on every system and I check for Earth Light, Water World, and Ammonia Worlds. If there's one of those three, I'm going to stop and then I'm going to FSS the entire system. And after that, I'm going to map obviously Earth Light, Water Worlds, and, 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 uh, um, and Ammonia Worlds. And any uh, terraformable high metal content worlds, I'm also going to uh, to, uh, to to map those. Uh, what's the plan for this live? Can we reach the call? Yeah, that's basically the plan. See if I can reach the call before the end of the live stream. <laughs> we are just under three thousand light years out from the call right now. Very long tunnel here. There we go. No, we're not using neutron stars, we're going uh, the old fashioned route. Because it's more fun. Uh, how many jumps? 49 jumps now. It all depends how lucky we are. If I'm not very lucky, we're gonna be there in no time at all. We're gonna be there in less than an hour. Um, if I am... If I am lucky, we're gonna be there in a significantly longer time. Because if I'm lucky, that means I found something interesting and that means I'm going to stop and scan. Zinner system types filters? Yes. So I uh, 13. Check. So I filtered um, I think F and G stars are the only ones that I, I jumped to. Um, and then maybe I think maybe even uh, removed like neutral stars. I might go for non-sequence stars. So white dwarfs to be removed. I might go for non-sequence, I can't remember. But I try to stay with F and G stars because that's where there's the highest chance of finding water worlds. Um, so that's why I'm trying to stick with those types of stars. Which is not a problem when we're out here, or sorry, in here in the middle. Because there's so many stars that well, yeah, there's plenty to take from. Uh, the ship jumps, I think, just shy of 60, if I recall correctly. What settings... Do you have to tweak to get the text on screen so clear? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know if that could have something to do with it. It's the fact that I run the game at 4K and then downscale it down to, uh, to 1080 before it's being live streamed. Um, but if you're seeing like blurry text, oh, look at that, it's a big hole there at the start. If you're seeing blurry texts, um, I don't know, try to reduce your blue. That might be it. Because bloom sometimes make it looks really, really like washed out. So that might be a uh, worth a try. Um, so someone says hello from France. Well, hello. Uh, I'm finishing up a water world journey right now. And ammonia. I haven't had a lot of luck with ammonia worlds. Um, can the Phantom make seventy plus for exploration? Uh, I think you can push it out to 70. It's gonna be a bare bone build, but I think you can push it out to 70 if you want to. I'm not really sure, but it would be a practical build. Did I FSS this system? Not it, but there was nothing there.
it's been so long since I've been to the core, and I haven't seen the core in the new graphic engine either. The last time I was at SAG A, engineers were not added into the game yet. <laughs> it's been it's it's been a while since I took the journey into SAG A. <laughs> Let's just say that. Spice is something to watch while we do your first Corvette. Also, what are you building? Combat vet. You have no idea. Okay, <laughs> you're, you're just engineering it. You don't know what you're doing it for. Any tips would be cool. When, what do you want to use it for? For your Corvette. It's a great PVE ship. So, if you would use your Corvette for something... Okay, just did the FSD. Kill all your friends, so PvP, then I'm probably not the right person to, uh, to, uh, to ask. But, if you're looking for a PvE build, let me just show you here. What you do is, you jump over to Commander's Toolbox, which we have right here. Commander'sToolbox.com. Link is in the chats now, thank you, Dongle. You go up to your ship builds, you go to NPC combat. In here you will see the PvE Federal Corvette, aka the Cucumber. This has been for years, uh, there's been multiple revisions of this build. The one I have here is the latest version of it, um, which is my combat Corvette. And you can see here there's a link, and there's a Coriolis build link if, uh, if that's what you're looking for. And again, if you want more details about why I put the different modifications on, uh, you can just find it by clicking the video there, and my PV. There we go. Lo and behold, there's a build guide that goes over every single module, why they engineered the way they are, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, more stuff like that. Jump back in game. Just jump back in the corner. Let's go. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, are you still enjoying No Man's Sky? Have you tried the new... No, No Man's Sky kind of died on me again. I don't know what it is with that game. I Every time I go in, I really enjoy it, but I play it for like a few months, and then it always kind of dies on me. Um, I don't know. James says, yeah, the same with Lee. Play for two months, 30 hours or so, and then you have a one year break. Yeah, that's kind of how I have it with the, with No Man's Sky. It is fun. I mean... Just going into Lee again now with a Hotess. Nice. The Lee really does feel a lot better on a Hotess. Nothing, I think that one there is still gas giant. Yeah, still gas giant territory. Are we doing for fuel? Plenty of fuel. Just 
Just found a undiscovered system with a rigged ammonia world. Oh, nice find. That's a very nice find. Buddies. Oh, oh we might got might have something there. Let's see. Yeah, there's a water world here. Great. Okay. Standard procedure. I'm just gonna move outside the uh Did you see now there are six? Oh they're up to six Darkoids now. Uh yeah, we are we are all gonna get eaten. <laughs> It's all gonna end in tears. Okay, let's find a. There's some stuff here. Let's see. Luckily, there's no gas giants. It should make it a little easier. Let's see what else we got. Is that the water world? No. High metal content. Good. We like high metal contents. We got multiple planets here, so there's probably maybe they're just close. That's the water world. Yeah, that's the water world. Ooh, very pretty water world. I like that. Okay, there's still still a snowball somewhere. There it is. Oh, hold on. Oh, there's nothing there. Okay. Okay, FSS is done. Let's take a quick look at the planets. Okay, none of them are terraformable, so we're just gonna go straight for the water world. Not that did you yet, but went to see the Starcoids. It got a lot of exploration data. Yeah, it's not. They're getting quite close now, so luckily we don't have to go too far. I think there should be hopefully a few hundred millions in the bank when I get to uh, to the core. How long will it take me to go to the core? Um, my guess is uh, an hour or two. We have 41 jumps to go. We had 50 something. We've done 10 jumps in the live stream so far. So we're doing pretty good. Cashed in 1400 systems last month to 1.1 billion. That's a lot of money. I think this character is already exploration lead. Yeah. With a bit of luck, we're gonna get one of the like elite plus ranks. Okay, what is this? Seven, seven probe thing? Yeah. Oh, come on, frame rates. Thank you. That was not a very accurate probe. There you go. Yeah, it's a big boy water world. 
A uh, bit of an overshot there on the back. Okay. So that means I just need to shoot one around there. We should be good. You can see that area there on the back that we haven't hit. I'm hoping to hit pretty close to that. We just need 2% so we get up to 90, then it should jump up to 100. That's perfect. There we go. There we got the efficiency target bonus. Good. Next system around. Let's go. Play with um I played this game a lot a uh, time ago. I forgot how to and I need someone who can guide me and who can who I can adventure with. Yeah, we have a community Discord server. Um there's like almost ten thousand people over there. I'm pretty sure you can find some over there. You can, there's a link in chat or you can just go to discord.d2a.com. Um, there's some dedicated delete channels over there, um, also for Star Citizen and No Man's Sky and stuff like that. Plenty of, of stuff there. Um, go and see if there's somebody who wants to uh, show you the ropes and uh, remind you how to play and I'm sure you'll find some. Uncle, did you set something up on uh, on stream elements? Oh, it was timed out. Ah, okay, it was timed out for stream elements. Okay. It seems stream elements kind of caught the uh, the bot, the spam bot. For spam, yes. Oh, nice. Nothing there. Oh, this is gonna be a little hot. I need to remember that I'm not flying my dolphin over <laughs> there. That's the problem with the crate. It's hot. It's not a dolphin. Dolphins are cool. I love the dolphin. I've actually been considering, well, that's gonna be a future live stream, but after I go to the core, I wanna head back to, um, I wanna head back to Colonia, because I wanna unlock the Colonia engineers, because I haven't tried that, um, just to see how that is. We got a K-type star, okay. Oh, oh, we got, is that a water world? Yes, it is. It might even be two of them. It's hard to tell. Could be one, could be two. Let's go and find out. But my plan is when I get back to Colonia, first unlock the engineers for the on-foot engineers. And then I want to go and build a... Um, a uh, not a beluga. Um, not a dolphin. Orca. I want to try to build an exploration orca. I've never really used the orca for much, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> How says this? But Doug, what if I came here looking for, for a dog? Yeah, well, then you, then you came for... Uh, then you came for the, the wrong place, I think. Okay, well, how much do we... How much are we dealing with here? 15... Oh, damn it, we have a B star. That's gonna cause us some issues. Just hope the water wells are not out there. Uh, we have some asteroid fields. Let's get rid of those. Then we have some high metal content worlds. Mm, 
there's more stuff here. Yeah, there's the water world. Yeah. This is a small one. Tiny little one. There's more stuff here. Okay, I think that's all there was there. Got some geologicals on that one. Are we done? Nope, there's one more somewhere. We have one, two, three, four, five. And there's number six. Okay. See what we got here. I'm looking for terraformable high metal contents. There's nothing there. So there's the water world. Not the first one to be here either. But here we have one. This body is a candidate for terraforming. So we want to map that too. What was that number five? Nope. Number five is a candidate for terraforming as well. Number four is too close. That's too hot. So that means we need to... We actually land on that one. Hmm. Might actually be fun to go and land on that. Let's start with the water world, make our way in, and then go to land on this one. Should be fun. Hopefully it's not too far away. Ah, 10,000 is not a big deal. The commanders have Star Citizen key bindings for the for 317 for the X55 joystick. I don't, unfortunately. Law wise, why are they interested in terraforming worlds when we find so many Earth likes? Well, if you want a planet in a specific system for whatever reason. It might be nice to know that there are planets you can terraform. So why are I flying with shields on? That's just force of habit. Haven't played. Can you land on all planets yet? No. You can land on some atmospheric planets now. Not all of them. Only with very, very thin atmosphere. Made a bad landing. Yeah, but I guess uh, Niels has made a bad landing while exploring. If not for shields, um, I would have lost it all. I guess there's a point in that what you can do is you could say, okay, I'm going to um, I'm going to turn off my shields, which I'm just flying in super cruise, and when I'm going in for landing, then I turn my shields on. Then you kind of stay cool because the shields take a lot of power, use less power, so you stay colder. I would forget it, personally, but I guess it's a, it's a choice you could do.
I would like to just forget and crash into the planet and lose all my exploration data. Just pull us way back, go off target. Did you ever do a video on graphics settings? Yes, I did, after Odyssey came out. I remember using your old vid uh, with the file tweaking, but build my new business at the weekend. I want to max out again. Um, no, a lot of those settings are still valid. You can still use those in Odyssey, but I also have a more dedicated guide to Odyssey um, that doesn't go into all the files, but just talks about what settings you can turn up and down, what it does for the game. Um, Mainly because Odyssey is quite resource intensive. Okay, what are we dealing with here? Six. So that's a standard... Standard box. Oh. That didn't fire. Oh, perfect hit there at the back. Nice. Okay. Next. Is this exploration gameplay? Yes. In a moment, we're going to go and land on one of the planets because it's actually landable. And... We don't know when this guy who already explored the system here, when he was here, it might have been before Odyssey, so we might be able to get first footfall on this planet. Uh, Star Citizen player, never played lead. Yeah, this is uh, this is standard exploration, uh, exploration gameplay. Right now we are like there, so Bubble is in here, that's where everybody is, and we're heading in towards the center of the galaxy. Secretarius A. I know everybody's welcome here. I play a lot of Star Citizen too. Love Star Citizen. Uh, Rewatched the uh, EDO performance video the other day. Um, are you planning on doing an update after 13 or 14? I think performance has improved quite a lot since release. I'm not sure. I did one after update 10, I think. So I've done multiple of these performance review videos. Um, I did one after update 10, which is the newest one. And I'm not sure how much performance there differs there is between that and, uh, and now. Um, have I ever gone down the racks of rabbit hole? Um, I wouldn't say I've gone completely down the rabbit hole. Um, I put my toe in the water. I've, I've been playing around with it a little bit. Oh, here, yeah, since we're flying here. I have been paying attention. It's been, I have been doing a little bit with it, but it's just been small things here and there. But never really spent any serious amount of time. Um, but being who I am, I do like every other month or something like that somebody comes along and claims they found Raxler but for some reason they're never able to provide any kind of proof or tell how they found it or anything like that it's just like oh I don't want to say I don't want to spoil it and 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 yeah so it happens quite often that people come around to say they found it but until somebody shows me the screenshot of Raxler or tell me how I can find it myself. I'm just not gonna dive into it because, yeah. Uh, 
Okay, standard six probe layout. I'm not sure how well this is gonna go, but we have decent probe coverage. T. Parker says, if I found Raxter, I would sell everyone after I sold the data. Yeah, obviously. I mean, if you find it, you're gonna have head for the nearest inter, like uh, cartographer and gonna sell that data. So you get your name on it, but... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like there are many, many other things I would rather do than look for a myth. Um, I mean, Frontier claims that it's in-game, and that it can be found, but nobody has found it yet, and or if they have, they haven't told anyone, so who knows? In-game could mean in a permit lock system. Likely in a permit lock system with a permit that's extremely hard or difficult to get or we don't know how to get it. I don't know. Raxel is the French who made along the way, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think I have a good point there. It says that I guess the mystery is the best part of it. At this point, if it's found, it'll only be disappointing. Yeah, it's been hyped up to this massive, massive thing. Didn't they say that someone's been in the system and just uh, flown by? I, everybody claims that, but I've not been able to. Like, nobody's been able to confirm that that has actually been said, or whether it's just a, a like an urban myth. The only thing that I think has been like confirmed is that Braven told Drew, Drew Wager that it is in game. Frontier knows where it is, indicating that it's a thing you can find. Um. But yeah. What core are you heading to today? Core of the galaxy. It's kind of pretty, this planet. Six probes. Let's give this a map. My mouse speed off or something. Feels a little weird. go and land. I mean, we have an atmospheric world, so let's go for a sunset or sunrise or whatever and drop down somewhere near the day night terminator. And I think I want to go for one of the lighter patches here. So I'm going to go for... There's a light patch here up ahead. I'm going to go for that. What are unclassified relics used for? You can sell them to um, uh, to Ramtar, but and I think Palin as well. But 
that's about as much as we know. How about we go for the edge of that crater there? No, let's just land in the crater, and uh, then we're gonna go up to the top of it. Hans says, leaving town before the bubble burns? Now, this character has not been in the bubble for months, years even. Hell, I don't even think I've been on a station with this character for, I would say, like half a year. <laughs> Maybe I docked at a fleet carrier once. find a place to put this thing down. Maybe it's just just up here. Should be fine. Let me see. Around here maybe? Yeah, there we go. Nice. How far from Colonia? We're like 2,000 away from the core. Okay, we have a crater rim. We need to go and get to the edge of here. here. It's a really nice planet to drive on actually. Like that half T gravity is really comfortable. Oh, can I make it over that? Yes. Only just to adjust my trajectory here. Okay, we reached the crater wall because we're heading upwards at like 20 degrees right now, 15 maybe. Jump over the rocks, keep going up, up, up we go. I mean, they know they're adding a new race track in Star Citizen. Uh, somebody said, as you start racing in Star Citizen, I think you'll have a, a talent for it. Um, they're making a new race track with the uh, PTV. That should be fun. Looking forward to that. It should be a nice community event to do. Okay, I think we're getting pretty close to the crater rim here. sun peeking up over the edge there. Oh, I just saw some land also with sunlight on it. Here's the edge. There it is. Let's just get up to that little hill there. Uh, 
And... There we are. We are the crater. Slip around and take a look at the crater behind us. This is a pretty neat little planet, isn't it? Like the intense stars. Let's get up to that. Uh like a little mount over here. Up there, wanna go up there. There you go. No, there's no bi biology or geology on this planet. QCO7 just rated with three <laughs> with three viewers. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Thumbnail question mark? Yeah. It might actually be a good uh, good shot for uh, for a future thumbnail. I'm just gonna go and save that. There's one biological signal on it right now. Yeah, that's true. Okay. That's a beautiful rock. Let's get down to the flats below and uh, recall our ship and then let's move on. That's a nice spot there, I think, for a ship to land. But knowing my ship, it's been infested with Howard, so it's going to land like on the other side of the planet or something stupid. Oh, first footfall. Ah, good point. We haven't been out on foot. We didn't check for first footfall. Hey, we did get first footfall. Nice. I was about to forget. Oh, that's my ship. No, nope. don't want a gun. First footfall, what does that do? Uh, it just means that it confirms that I'm the first one to set foot on the planet. Are you gonna land? It's stuck. Uh. <sighs> Howard, God damn it, Howard, <laughs> it's your fault.
can't even land properly. How hard can it be? Okay, let's try again. Howard's my co-pilot, now Howard's on the other account, but it's always Howard's fault, even if it's in the other if it's in the other end of the galaxy. It's always Howard's fault. Way. Jesus, spinning out all over the place here. There we go. It actually landed this time. He does get around and into trouble. He gets into all kinds of trouble. Hashtag blame Howard. Hashtag always blame Howard. Landing gear up. Target next system. It's on the other side of the planet, of course. That's also Howard's fault. What's the most northern system in the in the galaxy? Rackham's Peak. Um, it's not necessarily the most northernest, but it's a very pretty, um, pretty place to visit. New T-shirts, less mock memes. Blame Howard. Yeah. <laughs> I think we already have the code for the shops. Let's like gold. Blame Howard. Yeah, exactly. Where are we at here? Okay. Let's check FSS. Nothing of interest. Moving on. 37 jumps to go. And it's getting a little toasty in here. Twenty-two likes to go. Well that's going quickly today. And what we only what an hour in? You guys are fast. Oh yeah, actually now that we are just Jumping a bit again. I got. Look at this, what I got today. Cute little server. Isn't it nice? It's gonna be my new ingest server so I have a, a place to ingest video. Yes, it's a nice little nook. I like it. Very, very low power consumption. I have other plans with it, not only to work as an ingest server, but also when I'm out doing astrophotography, it could be fun 
to hook the camera up either to a, to a laptop or directly to my phone and then just upload, as I take pictures, upload them directly to the server so that even when I'm out in the field, I'll just have um, I'll just have to take like remote access to uh, to that, and then just upload the pictures directly from the telescope, um, so that when you come home, you already have the pictures pre-uploaded. Did I forget to honk that system? I think I forgot to honk the system. I just jumped, didn't I? <laughs> Astro spending money. Elite blame Howard. Astro spending money blame Dunkle. Something like that. Yeah, that seems about right. I think I forgot to honk the system. Or maybe I honked it. U-turn. Ah. That's okay. We have 35 more systems we got to go. It's okay. There's probably just a system with Raxler in. <laughs> it's like a curse. Every time you jump into the system, you forget to honk and you just move on. Yeah, this is not the system you're looking for, Jedi Mind Tricks. So we are probably at two thousand, uh, maybe eighteen hundred. Twenty one, check FSS. Oh, we got oh, uh, hello, we got a lot here. Yeah, if if we get if we get a message from Frontier like uh, on the next FS uh, Frameshift live stream, and they say another player passed through the Raxler system without without honking and just jumped and moved on, then now everybody's gonna wind back the live stream and see what system that was, and I'm just gonna flock there <laughs> because now we, then we found it. Uh, okay, we got. Am I in the right corner here? I should be down there. We got 21 bodies, we got two stars, and we got what looks like, uh, that's a border, that's a rocky ice world, but we got at least two water worlds here. And probably a lot of high metal content, so there's some potential for some good money in this system. Do you know if, if Rackler is a planet or a system? Um, see, there's one more world. I believe that sometimes it's been referred to as maybe a portal or a planet sometimes. If we don't really know what it is. And there's no gas giants in this system, which means that they are gonna, there's gonna be a lot of these high metal content, I think. Which is good. Because that increases our chance of finding ter terraformables. Okay, we have the B star here. And that's a lot of stuff here. First of all, let's take the asteroid fields. Get that out of the way. And then we just have a ton of planets here. It's all like snowballs out here. Mm -hmm. 
The good thing is this star has been all snowball so far. And that means that we're not gonna go out there to scan. Now we're a little bit closer, so now we might find some high metal content. Nope, it's still snowballs. That looks like another snowball. But there's also a water world. Yeah. Water world is here too. Probably with a snowball move. Oh, Rocky. Okay. Oh, what's going on here? High metal content. And high metal content. Okay. We're done. Let's check the layout here. Okay. Water world. First mapped, first discovered. And look at that, it's a terraformable water world even. Even better. Okay, this one is not... Not a candidate for terraforming, so that means the others are further away from the star, so they're not going to be a candidate for terraforming either. Down here. Water world. But nothing out here is, is terraformable. So, we're just gonna map the two water worlds. Perfect timing. I was just gonna go with Blame Howard as uh, as the discount code. I feel like Blame Howard would be a good discount code. But let me see some suggestions in chat while I open up the um, while I open up the store interface here. Honk for Raxler. Blame Howard. Blame Howard. Blame Howard. Howard. Okay, there's a lot of... Um, I think we're just gonna go with Blame Howard. Let me see here. Promotions? Yes. And create promotion. How it is Raxler? <laughs> Just gonna copy this in here. I'm gonna miss the planet. Oh, that slow down. Slow us way down here, so I have time to set up the discount code. Okay. Blame Howard. It's gonna give 10% off, and that's gonna last until the end of the live stream. Let's me save that. There we go, Blame Howard is now active, so you can go to d2astore.com and use the code Blame Howard. And then you get 10% off. And again, as I said, code's gonna last until the end of the live stream. So go check it out, afford yourself a very nice massive desk mat for, yeah, basically like a mouse pad that takes up the entire desk. So you have room for your keyboard and your mouse, never ever run over the edge again. Maybe you want yourself a Space Bunny t-shirt, which is also new. Go check that out. If I missed the planet, I would... I would yeah, that would definitely have blamed Howard. But even as, as Waterworlds go, this is a pretty one. And as a big boy planet too, it's a 7 Pro 1, but I think we could do it in 6. go and are we done we got it
Can I blame Howard? Uh, I don't have to read the rest of the sentence. The answer is yes. Um, but, but yeah. Can I blame Howard if my ship teleports underground upon a relock when material farming? Absolutely. That would be a very, very classical thing to blame Howard for. Okay, have a small, small trip <laughs> now. It's eighty thousand. What do I think about update fourteen? What do we know about update fourteen so far? Not a lot, do we? Narrative event. That's what we know. And we know that the narrative, we can, or we don't know, but we can guess that the narrative event has something to do with the Starkoids. We know that the Starkoids are Tharkoid in nature, so we know that it's something, something Tharkoids. Um, and it has been leaked. Or uh, accidentally leaked. Not that people have data mined or anything like that, but it has been leaked that the Tharkoids, they have a tendency to spawn these rogue signal sources and the rogue signal sources um we know contains something called a thargoid titan so probably like a thargoid mothership or something like that um the reason we know that is that people found these rogue signal sources i don't think they were supposed to but they were spawning in the systems around the thargoids and when people they were flying into these signal sources if they were flying too close to them the game would crash to desktop and in the error log, it would say missing object Thargoid Titan. So it's 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 not confirmed a hundred percent, but it's almost confirmed a hundred percent that the Thargoids are Thargoid Titans. How that's gonna play out, I don't know. I mean, we we have seen Frontier always like to to like test things in the live game before they actually add what they wanted to add. Um, so what I think it is, we've seen these Thargoid conflict zones pop up in some of the recent community goals, where you have human capital ships fighting against Thargoids, right? So you have a Thargoid interceptors and you have these human capital ships and human ships flying around all trying to pp shoot the Thargoid. I think the Thargoid Titans are going to show up and we're going to have conflict zones with a Thargoid Titan on one side and a, and a, a human um, uh, and a human uh, capital ship on the other side and then it's going to be pew pew. Maybe it's just going to be like go shoot some objects on the Thargoid Titan and make it disappear kind of gameplay a bit like basically copy and paste of the existing gameplay that we have on the uh, of the of the capital ships today. I don't think so. I hope there's going to be some kind of boarding action where you can board the ships and go in and, and pew pew the Thargoids. I know it's going to be like fake to black and you're inside the ship, um, but I hope they'll do that. That would be awesome and it would be a nice way to bind the ship based and the on foot combat together. Something that Odyssey has really been lacking. Having that tie in between spaceships and on foot. So having this spaceship conflict zones where you go and you land on the enemy enemy like uh, capital ship and then from there you go and you pew them on, on board that would be awesome and the reason why i think it is possible that's what's going to happen because that frontier set uh i think it was the beginning of the year that this update 14 what the, what's going to come out with that and they're going to try something that they've never tried with the league before now that might just be marketing hype it wouldn't be the first time that Frontier has said something that later turned out to be an absolutely complete lie because they wanted to market hype the game or an update. Um, so, I, don't get me wrong, I don't think that, that Frontier necessarily lies on purpose. I think sometimes it is just maybe a communication chain that's broken where people think something's going to happen, but maybe someone didn't get the memo that something was moved or whatever I, I i don't believe that they do it on purpose i just think that they sometimes they may have some problems with the with their internal communication it seems i don't know it's just from an outside observer's perspective
We'll see. It's gonna be. I uh, didn't they confirm that it was gonna be at the end of November? We know it's gonna be in November, but I think Frontier posted in the in the latest discovery scanner that it was going to be at the end of November. So um, it seems like it's gonna be an early Christmas gift, whatever it is. Which is just gonna be like a bunch of Stargoids coming and eating us all alive. There's also that dev who said, if you're gonna shoot Thargoids, better do it in a scorpion. Okay, didn't see that quote, but okay. That would indicate there's gonna be some unfood Thargoids. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, Dracon is absolutely right. He says, we don't have any anti-Thargoid uh, on-foot weapons yet. I see another arms race. Absolutely, 100%. It's gonna kick off another arms race where we're gonna start by having only our usual puny human weapons and we're gonna be absolutely slaughtered by the Thargoids. And, and, and then we're going to slowly, then there's gonna be a community goal and then Palin or, or Ramtar is gonna say, bring me all the Guardian stuff. And then all of a sudden we have human... Guardian hybrid weapons we can go and then we can shoot the goits and we are much more effective at, at, at PPU in the goits. But then all of a sudden there's a more difficult variant of the goit, uh, basically the same arms race, right? So so we get a better weapon, the, the, the Thargoids get stronger, and then we get better weapons and the Thargoids get stronger. And, and that cycle just continues for like a year or two. More suit and gear grind, absolutely, that's gonna happen. Have you just started the normal on foot grind yet? Well, better get the grind going. Again, as I said, this is not gonna happen. I mean, this grind for the for the anti sino like there's gonna be an initial grind to make a specific anti sino build, but I have a sneaky suspicion that since it's just gonna be the weapons we already have, there's not gonna be much new stuff to engineer. But we'll see. It depends. We'll see how the combat plays out. Ah, oh, you found the uh, the the uh, the OG uh, Howard meme where when it when it first originated. Let me see what you find. Found Dungle. Oh, something went wrong. I think link links be broken, Dungle. It just says, "Oops, something went wrong." You forget to copy the entire, entire link. Discord. Ah, oh, that's easier. Yeah, you're right. That that is that's the one. Well, let's go. Let's just slow our ship down here. Let me just go and um, and fight that. Because this part of the mining, uh, I know, it works. It's it's more maneuverable than the cutter. It's a way better ship. And I really like the, the maneuverability. Everything about it is really, really nice. Is that the right video? What I still want to test is its combat capabilities. Look, I'm a mining ship. Mining, mining, mining. I have all the diamonds. And I need a pirate. That's competent. We have two ships, but where's the other one? Oh, right, now I recall. Oh, Crate Mark 2. There's actually a little bit of firepower in that. Fif I have 15 seconds to give my cargo. Look, dude, you're not going to be alive in 15 seconds. <laughs> Is that the crate a little bit of time? Four pips to shield. 
gonna let him. Um, right. Yeah. 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 This is where I, I, I hand it over to and Howard. I'm just gonna let him shoot at me for a bit. You know what would be fun? I have a I have a thing. What's gonna? What is fastest? Howard killing a crate Mark II or the crate Mark II killing me? I'm gonna send Howard after him. Oh, Howard took some damage. I think his shields are still up. Nope, now he's shooting at me again. He has turrets. Get him, Howard! Get him! I need to go to the section where Howard trolls me. I see what happens if I actually... See, it's... Yeah, so I hand over the ship to Howard. What are you... And I'm taking over the fighter. Here we go. Here it is. There we go. <laughs> okay, so Howard eventually managed to kill the crate, and I tried to dock. Could you sit still, Howard? Stop moving. Stop moving. Howard, <laughs> I'm going to fire you if you do not sit still with that stupid ship. No, don't move, don't. <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> Damn it, Howard. Yeah, you're sitting still now, Howard, okay? Okay, that didn't work. Maybe the ramp wasn't deployed. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Howard, I need you to go out in the, in the fighter. And then... I need you to hold position. <laughs> He's just sitting there watching the miners. And there we go. <laughs> so if you're ever wondering where the origin like where the whole thing like blame Howard came from. That is it. That's where the whole thing started. Oh well, while we're heading towards the planet here, there's actually, I have some quite uh, quite awesome news that I can share with you guys. Um, Frontier reached out to me just before the live stream, and I got some uh, codes, got actually five codes, five, that's this many, <laughs> um, five codes for some, um, for some paint jobs. Um, I haven't had a chance to see them yet, and they have not been published yet. They are, in fact, still under NDA. Uh, I just got the email and I had to go start streaming, so I, I, I didn't have a chance to actually look at them. But they are currently under NDA, so I can't give them away yet. But I am going to give them away next week. That means on Tuesday, the live stream next week, there is going to be a giveaway um, that we're going to be hosting through... Um, we go through, through Discord, that kind of stuff. So, do tune in next week, because there is going to be some potentially awesome paint jobs. I don't know, I haven't seen them yet, <laughs> so so I don't know. Um, but, but we'll see. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to be fun. Um, I don't know what it is. My guess is it's going to be uh, probably going to be Halloween related, um, but I don't know. All I can say is that next week, on the live stream, on Tuesday, I'm going to be giving those away. So, if you want that, you should tune in next week, as it will be given away to five lucky viewers will get a chance to win one of those, uh, one of those paint jobs. And, um, 
that also means that I would really appreciate if you would consider subscribing to the channel. I'm currently by pushing towards those 100,000, uh, less than 5,000 subscribers away, so really getting there. So if you're watching, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and, uh, and subscribe. There is plenty of more Elite, Dangerous and Star Citizen and others space nerdery coming in the very near future. Okay, we are done. We mapped the planet and there was no other thing, so we're just going to target the next system and go. You'll be at work next Tuesday. Joseph, what you can do is, so even if you're not going to be able to sign up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up before the live stream. I'm going to set up a giveaway that you do. Yeah, it's going to happen through Discord. There's a giveaway channel in there, a stream giveaway, where you just go in, you click a little icon, and then you automatically signed up. And the whole giveaway is going to be handled through Discord. So even if you're not going to be able to be there doing the live stream itself, if you just in the period where the live stream is happening, go in and and find like 30 seconds to go in and click the icon, you're still going to be signed up and have a chance to win. So ho hopefully, even though you are at work, you're going to be able to find like 30 seconds to go in and, uh, and do that. Uh, let's just check. Anything fun? No. Moving on. What area am I in? There was an area near the core that I did explore, but I had some super weird black hole fields that I couldn't find any writing on. Um, I am like 30 jumps or something for the call right now from uh, Secretarius A. Yeah, and for those of you wondering why I do the Discord, well, the giveaway is the Discord, it's, it's just so much easier to handle. In the past, I would have to set up like uh, Google Forms and people had to write their name uh, or write their Discord handle or some other way to contact them, but then people, they wrote the wrong, the wrong mail or they tried to sign up twice or all kinds of shenanigans. It was I, it took half an hour to give away anything. Now it's just go in, click it, and once the live stream is over, it basically draws a winner. It's super, super neat and very easy. Remember to honk this time. Honk it, check it, jump. And we are 31 jumps away. We'll close our wish. So we are... Look at that. Call is right there. Ah. System scan complete. Need a carrier right back. No, I'm gonna continue on to uh, to Colonia. Where have I jumped from? So I started in the bubble. Hold on, before we, I'll show you my route. Um, I started, of course, in the bubble, like some years back. I headed out to a few areas out here, a few bookmarks out here. I wanted to explore. And then I had a crossover to Colonia. Um, I made a few stops in Col I made a stop in Colonia. Stayed there for like a, a, a few months. Um, then I headed up to the Dire Awesomes, which was up here. Now I'm headed into Sag A, and from Sag A, I'm likely going to head back towards Colonia. Maybe I'm gonna find something that's not straight back to Colonia because the route from from Colonia to Sag A has been explored a lot. So I kind of wanna. Kind of considering to going outwards a little bit and then making a, 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 a turn in towards Colonia so I, I move away from the beaten route because it makes it a little bit more fun. Oh yeah, also explorers at Kronach.
Yeah, I, I know that the Mi 6 bot have had some problems with, with SAC 8 pictures thinking that they were adult content. <laughs> Which commander is this then? This is my second commander. This is Commander Down to Astronomy. My main account is Commander MP Astro. And my third commander is Commander Howard O'Connor. So this commander is actually doing what his name say. Yeah, I guess. Are any free epic game commanders? No. They're not. Check. Uh, right at the edge there again. One of those sneaky ones. See there, it's right on the edge. I don't think it's an earth like, but it's right on the edge. And I kind of feel like I have to um, I have to check. I don't think it's an earth like. I think it's one of those like that trolls you a little bit. Okay, let's go scan some planets. Rocky Ice Worlds. Scan, scan, scan. Something there. Uh, I think, I think we are. Yeah, there's nothing there. Let's just scan the system now that we decide to stop. I mean, there is a number of uh, of high metal content. So if we're lucky, there are some of them that are terraformable. Two planets left. Yeah. And they're both here. Okay. That is done. Let's just quickly check the system. All of them have an atmosphere. Like, all of them. There was actually one terraformable there, and another one. So two on that. Okay. So we just got two terraformables, high metal contents.
Will any of them actually land double? No, no. None of them are landable. They have atmospheres, but we can't land on them. Which games get the highest light goal? Star Citizen or Elite? Eh, it's still Elite, but Star Citizen is catching up. Am I filling for any specific type of planets to fight terraformables? I like to filter for uh, uh, F and G type stars. Um, the new shop is very cool. Seamless user experience. Thank you. I am also very happy with the new uh, with the new store. It was quite a bit of work to like migrate from the old one, but it is a lot less work for me, and the running cost is basically nothing compared to what it was before. Okay, seven probes. Seven probes. Seven probes. Come on. There we go. It, depend it depends where you are and what products you are. There are still some products that they are like only shipping for instance from the US and in that case the shipping cost if you buy from the EU is gonna get spicy but they are working of, uh, on getting all the products shipped from all locations as they're adding more and more stuff do you get any sh shoplifters at the shop um since it's a pure online store then no <laughs> We don't, I don't have a, I don't have, you don't even have a, a, like, I don't, I don't hold a stock of the products. It's, it's what's called drop shipping. Um, because the store is so small that it wouldn't be feasible for me to actually have everything, like, ready, printed to go. So the way it works is it's run through a company called Fourth Wall. And when you go and order something, they basically have like t-shirt printers and like machinery that makes the mouse pads and the prints on the box. And whenever you you send an order, that specific t-shirt or mock, whatever you, you, you order, is sent to one of the machines that then prints it and then it's been packaged and shipped. Um, but that means that they just have blank t-shirts and blanks mock in store and then they just print on demand and that is for me a whole lot cheaper because storage is expensive um, and it's a better experience for you guys because because I do it through a much much bigger company that also means that they have printing facilities both in the EU and in the US and that means if you if you purchase something with a shipping address in the US it's being printed and shipped from the US and if you're buying something in the EU, well, it's being printed and shipped in the EU. I mean, shorter ship, uh, shorter, um, uh, shorter uh, shipping times, cheaper shipping costs, like, yeah, everything is just easier for me, and I believe also an easier like, experience for you guys. Can I ask how you are flying? I'm not sure you understand the question. How do you mean what kind of equipment I'm flying or I'm I'm I use I'm not sure I understand. Keep about um I'm running a ho ho SAS setup, so a dual stick, but my left hand stick is on a uh, set extension with a um with an uh like Y axis, so f uh, forward, backwards axis. Um, hold on, I'll let's just map this. Yeah, let's just map this planet, and uh, then I'll show you the. Uh, I'll show you the setup. It's a lot easier. 
instead of me trying to uh, to explain everything. Um, I'll just show you. I just gotta go and map this planet. Save the planet before the Thargoids do. Yeah. Visit the Thargoids before they visit you. How much do I have in asset? I don't know, but my guess is probably including the fleet carrier on my main account, we're probably looking at, I'm gonna say around 20 to 25 billion. It's not that much. I mean, I kind of stopped grinding for money when I passed 10 billion in, in cash and already had all the ships I needed. When I were like, okay, I don't know what, what other ships I want to build and I have 10 billion in cash. They don't kind of like this. I don't need to go and grind for money now. That's fine. I think I'm good. Uh, this should last me the remainder of my elite career. Says, because I own a company that make mounts, my most of my customers play Star Citizen and a few elite, some DCS. So I'm curious what you have. I have pure I have all verbal gear. I mean, I have go send send me an email at down to earth astronomy at gmail.com and I'm absolutely sure we can figure something out. Great, awesome. I'll show you the setup that I have, and um, and then we can talk over email. I think it's easier to arrange there. Dan says, "Hold on, I'm just gonna quickly scan this thing here." Uh, la, 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 la. Where's my scanner? That's my scanner. Okay, seven probes. We're just gonna do the standard box. Local system looks different than mine. I don't have those icons. So you're talking about uh, this view here. Um, it's probably because I have Odyssey. I'm in the 4.0 uh, graphic engine. Then the UI interface changed. Okay, I promised I would show off my setup. So let me just quickly get that up and running here. Just give me a second. Uh, stop it. Give me chat back. You're not in 4.0. Well, Odyssey is 4.0. It's just a 4.0 engine, if you will. I, we're talking graphic engines. <laughs> okay, uh, let me just get this thing over on this end as well, so I can use my phone as a impromptu camera. There we go. And then I kind of want to see my own stream here, so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Oh, that's that's too much stream. Ah, oh, that's too much stream. Stop. There we go. Nope, it's not working. Why is it not working? Why why you no connect? Why why camera? I am connected to Wi-Fi. Why you no work? No, 
No, no, it needs to be on Wi-Fi. That's how it. That's that, that's how it works. Like my phone sends the the video feed. Well, but it shoot the Wi-Fi cable. Yeah. Well, then I can't show you. Yeah. Damn it, Howard. <laughs> Howard broke the bunny cam. No, but it's been working before. Right, let me just try to close everything, like, close everything, both ends, reconnect to Wi-Fi. If it doesn't work, then I don't know what to do. Okay, then everything is closed on both ends. Then we open it up on the computer first, so that's sitting there. And then I opened up the app. We are back on Wi-Fi. And it refuses to work. And the settings are absolutely useless. I mean, internet's clearly working. I mean, you guys can hear me, so something is working. Oh, the face cam, that's not what I want. Nope. Sorry, ain't working today, it won't connect. I'm gonna have to find another solution. There must be a better solution than this then. Hmm. Well, can I do something else? Yeah, I'll, I'll show you later on Discord, that's probably easier, but... Uh, that's annoying, and that doesn't work. Oh well. Not gonna spend more time trying to bug fix that. Um, for now. So I am going to... Move on to the next system in... Well, let's jump back in game. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll set, like, toss me an email and we'll figure something out. Um, and I'll send you some pictures of my current setup as well, so you know what, I, what I'm dealing with today. Next system in route. Jumpy jump. 28 jumps to go, and we're at the core. Now bunnies are eating. One is eating, and... One other one just woke up, I think. Uh, I do have some cockpit videos, but there has been some upgrades since. I don't have a, a full tour since some of the upgrades. Okay, message me on Discord, that works too, right? I didn't see there was a PM that came in. I'll look at that after the live stream. Maybe wait until we're outside the scoop range. We're not flying a dolphin. How I enjoy the new constellation stick. I like them. Constellation Primes. Mmm, love it. Maybe I can make like a... 
You must find. There must be a better way to stream your phone to uh, to your PC without using like stupid apps that doesn't work. Nope, nothing there. I think when it comes to the Constellation Prime sticks, I think if I already have, um, if I already have the normal Constellation Alphas, I'm not sure I would upgrade unless I was planning to sell the uh, the normal Constellation Alphas um, instead of the Alpha Primes to kind of recoup some of the cost. But if I were buying new, I would absolutely buy the Primes. Over the constellation alpha. System scan complete. Dual stick. I uh, use a throttle. Uh, kind of. So I have. I'm using dual sticks, but my right hand stick is mounted horizontal, so that it's it's not sitting like that. It's sitting like that instead. Um, and it is. So it works as an omnidirectional throttle, basically. But it doesn't, it doesn't, it works, the, the forward backwards axis on it works as a throttle, meaning I can push it forward and let go. So you can see right now, I'm going full throttle forward and, and, and I've let go of my throttle. So that's the setup. Can you see the star coins in FSS? I haven't had any luck finding them. No, they changed it um, a few days after they were discovered. Um, you can hear them. It's a sound thing now. And you can see them when you get close enough. Oh. What are you? Yeah, that's Water Worlds. Nice. Okay, we got some water wells. How much was that all together? Um, way too much. So, a lot of it, I should say, a lot of it was sent to me by Verpal because I've been reviewing their products for years now. Um, but I think if you want to buy the setup total, you're probably looking at... I'm gonna say 16, 1700 euros. So quite expensive. But then you're also getting probably the best, one of the best, if not the best, flight setup that you can get. In my mind. Let's go and let's scan this thing. Oh, there's a sea star. Oh, we gotta. This is gonna be all over the place, isn't it? There's a double one here. There's one. There's one. Probably just asteroid fields in here. No, that's actually more planets. boy and what do we have here good thing is that none of our ice worlds or not ice worlds um, water worlds was out there nice they're out the B star there's two of them around the B star There's some asteroid fields, I think. I heard some asteroid fields. Yeah, they're in here. There they were. And then there's a bunch of more planets in here. Oh, some geologicals in that one.
What was that? One biological? There it was. Are we done yet? Oh, there's one more. It's down there. Okay. Verbal's pricing policy is if you have to ask, you can't afford it. Also, they make you wait with shipping. It's like, yeah, they have... Verbal has always had a massive, like, queue on their products. Like, getting a hand on some of their products, sometimes you have to wait a long time. Just because they're so high demand. Like, people buy them faster than they can build them. And I guess that also explains why they can ask the prices that they do. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. There's a candidate for terraforming. There's another candidate for terraforming. There's one water world, and there's the other water world. What do we have down here? This looks like ice balls, most of it. It's all ice balls. Okay. And look at this, it's an undiscovered system, so we're gonna get everything. Oh, and we can land on that one, and that one, and they have atmospheres, and they're terraformable, so let's start at the outskirts and then move in. Payday, exactly. It's a bit unfortunate that they have these long, long wait times, but again, it's a it's a bit of an investment when you, if you do decide to go for a full verbal setup. So, yeah, I can understand why people are eager to uh, to get them. It's pretty out here. You're content with, with your side ticks, there's Logitech X56, Rhinos, Stick and Throttle. How do we find that? Because I, ha I used to have an X56 and I did not like that one. Seven over on Twitch. So we have says you video sold me on verbal setup. <laughs> Looks like what I have to start saving. I mean, that also depends. You don't. Have, it depends on the setup. I mean, the one I have also. I also have two control panels in front of me. So I not only do I have the sticks and the base and the desk mount. So I also have two control panels in front of me, also desk mounted, and it all adds extra cost, right? So you can make it cheaper. You don't have to spend fifteen, sixteen hundred on a setup. Hey, beer cake. But it is going to be expensive, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I 
My bank manager blames verbal. Now that we are actually talking verbal gear, um, let me just quickly get some probes away on this planet here. I'm gonna show you guys something cool that you're gonna love, I think. Uh, what are we dealing with? Six probes here. I'm gonna do just standard, standard pattern. Wait for the reload. Okay, while that is running there. So, you guys remember how, uh, how I said that I'm beginning to prepare for the, um, for the 100,000 subscriber celebration. Some of you may have noticed that there's quite a bit of verbal gear sitting here behind me. For instance, here I have a, um, this is my, my old, the ones I used to play with, Constellation Alpha, right and left-handed sticks, right there, on Warbird bases. So these are the, uh, not the new CM3 bases, these are the older uh, Warbird bases. Still a very, very good, very solid base. Those two are there. And I also have a... Ah, come on. Stop that. I also have a spare Constellation Alpha. Not the Prime version, but just the normal Constellation Alpha stick. Also fully functional. That is a CM3 throttle, and that is the old Mongoose T50 throttle. Now, my plan is when I hit 100,000 subscribers, which hopefully is going to happen soon. If you haven't subscribed, you can help me by going down and subscribing. All, most of this stuff, apart from that throttle, most of the stuff is going to be given away. So there's going to be a dual stick setup where you're going to get a left hand and a right hand stick. So it's probably going to be these two here. That's going to be the whole SAS setup. And I'm going to make a whole TAS setup with the CM3 throttle. And then I'm going to get a base for the stick here. I'm just missing a base. I'm probably going to get another Warbird base for this one. And then I'm going to have a full whole TAS setup with a right hand stick and a, and a throttle. And that's also going to be given away. So you have a chance to win either a whole SAS or a whole TAS setup. Um, other than that, there's also going to be uh, some ships for Star Citizen. There's going to be some uh, both starter packs, but also some like more expensive ships. Um, and hopefully I can get my hands some more equipment. I actually have another thing here I want to show you. Hold on, just going to get my headset off here. Yes, it wasn't this one. That's the one. Bunnies have been uh, attacking the box, but everything inside is fine. In here, I have a little dusty pair of control panels. Okay, bye bye box. I have a pair of control panels like this. Look at these. Now, they may look familiar to you. You see this? Now, if we take these and you just remember how these look, right? Very beautiful. And then we just go and do this. Oh, uh, we need to jump out of this one. Uh, where's my... There it is. Do you see those panels down there? Between the between the pilot, I don't have my 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 Toby connected right now. Look at that! Those are elite dangerous replicas. Those are not; they're not just exactly like it. They are like it down to the text that's engraved. This is not a display; it's just engraved. But the text here is exactly the same as what you have in game. And of course it lights up, so there's like power for it, and then there's a very, very, very long USB cable for it as well. And I'm just gonna go to save that box before the body eat it. That thing is going to be given away for 100k as well. Um, where did you get them? So I got them from an, an Italian dude who, uh, who made them and sold them. Um, he stopped making them at some point. I'm not sure if he picked up again um, and started making them again. But right after I ordered them, 
he had made a batch and he had like two left, and I bought one of them. Um, and then he kind of stopped. I don't know if he if he if he wanted to if he wanted to let's like, just sell the last two and then make more, but. I checked back because I wanted to make a video about it, so I, so I postponed the video a little bit. Um, I have made the video now, I think it's up somewhere, I can't remember, but it, there should be a video out about these panels. Um, but I had I, I postponed the video because uh, is he on Etsy? I'm not sure he is. No, he has his own site. I can't remember the name. <sighs> Hold on. I'm gonna have to go and see if I can find it. Um... Let me see if I can find him. Delete videos, control panels. I mean, it's gonna be an older video. Mm. It was something like Flight PM or something like that. Maybe it's easier to search it up on my own YouTube channel. See if I can find it there. Maybe I have more luck. Search across your channel. Control. Control panel. Nope, it only shows the elite one. Um, panels. Oh yeah, there it is. Let's see if I can. This is a replica of the in-game. See if I can figure out what his site was called. This is a flight sim. PM. Flight sim PM. That's the name. Let's see if he's still... If he, is, is this guy even still in business? I, I have not checked up on him at all. I'm just gonna see if I can find him here. Um, Flight Sim PM. Oh, well, still shows up on Google. Yeah, there he is. Jump into his store, see what he has. So he does maybe did flight simulator stuff, right? Um, not as much really. Late. Oh, there they are. Look at that. The panels are there. Um, generic. Oh, so he does still sell them. Nope, look at that. Sold out. Yeah. Now, I don't know if they're temporarily sold out, but they have been sold out. Every time I've been in here, check it up. You can see the whole thing lights up. You have the text, you have all the buttons and, and stuff. It's pretty neat. Yeah, exactly, Bruce. Uh, Brunson said in the chat, they've been sold out the last year. I think he just stopped, like, selling them. Um, you still have them on his store. But you can see right now they're sold out. But, so, basically, you can't get your hand on these anymore. Unless you help me get to 100,000 and then we can uh, can make a giveaway and then you can get your hand on a pair. Because they're going to be giving away for 100k as well. Finding stuff on your channel is tough. You have a lot of content now. Uh, yes. Let me just check how many videos I have out. I have... 1,492 videos. I mean, maybe if people begin to write the guy and say, Oh, you're gonna make more of these panels, make more panels, then maybe he's gonna make some. Um, time to 
time for a video reorganization project. I've always been in favor of keeping videos up, even though they may not be relevant anymore. Um, sometimes I'll go back and I'll change the title or the thumbnail to indicate if a video is no longer relevant. But for me, it's also like a, a archive of elite dangerous content. Like if you ever want to go back and say, what on earth? So if, if you see someone talk about quince, like what on earth is quince? What was happening with the quince system? I'll have multiple videos of them. Very old videos, but they'll be documented there. So for me, it's also a way to go back and say, oh, well, how was exactly that thing worked? What was the name of that station where people used to do this kind of thing? I go back and I can watch my old videos and figure that out again because I can't remember every single thing I've said and done in like almost 1500 video. But yeah, eight videos away from uh, from 1500. Yeah, I, I've I've had tried to group it by projects uh, at some point, but yeah. It's a lot of work to go through all that. FSS, nothing. It's just brain lag there for a second. Little Fox says, Fair enough, I'd rather have you invest your time in, in fun things like flying, streaming, and new content. Exactly. I mean, I could spend probably a week going through every single video I have, updating thumbnails, updating titles, those kind of things, organizing it into, uh, into playlists. But the benefit of doing it is very limited compared to if I spent the same amount of time making videos and, and new content. Um, oh, watching videos on Colonia. So, so even some of the older videos are still like relevant, and that's the difficult part because even if I were to go through all my videos, some of them I may be able to say, okay, I know that this is no longer working. But there might be cases with Colonia content, for instance, where I mean, I've not been in Colonia for months. I haven't even been. In, I don't even think I've been in Colonia since Odyssey. I can't remember if I've been in, in Colonia since Odyssey. I may have. I think I have. Yeah, I have because I tried to unlock some of the engineers, I think. Maybe? Did I unlock engineers in, in... Hold on, let's check. Nope, I did not unlock Odyssey engineers. Have I ever used a VKB f uh, flight fix? No, I haven't. I have really considered if I should get it and do like a VKB versus Verpool kind of comparison. Could be fun, maybe. Nothing there. Moving on. 20 jobs to go. Yeah, we just talked about that. Of course, I haven't unlocked them. I just can't remember if I made a trip back. But I, I didn't. I stayed out. I was heading out to uh, to Dire Awesome, so I haven't been back since. So I probably haven't been back to Colonia since Odyssey launched. Astro's Guide to the Galaxy. What would you put in that? Anything you want. <laughs> well, then I might just make guides.
travels. Towels and cats. Okay, I got it. I have, I, if, if we're looking at that kind of thing, I have actually been... Um, been considering doing like a meet the bunnies kind of video. Like make a video dedicated to the bunnies. That could be fun. And wholesome, I think. Because the bunnies are very cute. How do you jump with an SRV? Um, there is basically a books button. Just like on the ship. I guess, like how uh, yeah okay i did do something like um they were called uh, rapid fire guides not rapid as in quick but rapid as in bunny rapid fire guide we were like intended for new players and i i'm i have been considering doing more new player content i actually have a video that's been sitting in my uh, like pre-uploaded and, and ready to launch for like weeks now I just haven't launched because there's always been other stuff I wanted to. But I've been considering doing some more new player guides because I've noticed there was a lot of... Um, oh, I need to honk. Uh, because the, I noticed there was a lot of new players that were beginning to ask some some clearly new player questions over on, on, uh, over on Discord. Um, so I thought I was trying to do some new player content. So I tried to make, make at least... So I made like two new player guides. Like guides intended for new players. And I launched one of them, which I think was like... Here's how you dock, right? So we go through everything from how do you approach, how do you request docking, how to find your landing pad, all that thing. And and it didn't do too well, the video, and it also seemed people a little confused in the comment section, like, why are you making new player content? I mean, are the new players delete? Um, so it was kind of a little conflicting, like, I could, could see some new players that were definitely there, but the video itself didn't get a whole lot of traction so I'm not really sure maybe it was too basic or I don't know I'm gonna try with one more at some point uh, and see if that performs a little better if there's any interest in that kind of content Anyone else has no sound? Lost Point watched it. Ah, nice. At least one watched it. <laughs> uh, I have around just shy of 60 light years of jump range. You can absolutely go explore with less. I mean, I would say get 40 light years is probably what I would, the lowest I would be comfortable with for, uh, for exploration, but you don't have to. Uh, we low on fuel. Yeah, we'll scoop for the next star. I've gotten out of my uh, my scooping habits here. Yeah, I think it's just a guy over on uh, on on Twitch that has sound problems. <laughs> Hashtag blame Howard. Yeah. Howard muted the guy's livestream. Alright, we better do a little fuel stop here because we are now out of fuel. 22 bodies. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, we might actually have a water world here. That's a nice body. That is a water world. Nice, okay. Fuel stop and then a water world. Zero eight hundred fuel rats. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We have fuel scoop and we have scoopable star. We're good. Uh, 
Uh, size of the fuel scoop is... 6A. Getting some distance into the FSS and let's get scanning. Oh. We have an AB2. We already located that. This is a weird system. What's that? Geologicals? There's more stuff there. Gas giant? Yeah. much to go. Pretty decent speed here. There's a water world. That was the only water world. So there's a gas giant. And it probably has a bunch of moons around it. Oh, that's just a lot of moons around it. There's the gas giant. There's a moon. There's a moon. There's a moon. It has all the moons around this one. So this is AB4F. What? This is a weird system. There's the water world. Hmm. Wonder how close these two planets are orbiting. Because where was this? A B A B two, A B three, A B one. AB2 and AB3 okay, are quite far apart. We have AB2 in here and we have AB3 all the way out there. That's a shame. There could have been some... There could have been some uh, some cool screenshots in this, but the layout here is not really... Like, they're too far apart for that to work. If they were closer, then maybe. try and leave the observatory but I know that a lot of people swear by it by it I should give it a go someday when I have time it also looks like a rather big planet, doesn't it? Ah, it's only slightly bigger... Yeah, only slightly bigger than Earth. It's a lot heavier, though. 12 Earth masses. No, hold on. Earth is 6... No, it's, it's more than... Oh, sorry, my bad. It's more than twice its radius, not diameter. It's more than twice the size of Earth. This is a big planet. With water geysers, how do you have how do we have water geysers on an all water planet? How do you speed up your FSS scan movement? Like what do you mean like the, the, the moving around? 
I just use the mouse. I set up so I can use mouse control for it. And then I use left and right mouse click to zoom in and out, so you can zoom in really, really quickly. Hold on, what? What am I targeting right now? Targeting the wrong body. God damn it, Howard! Why did you target the wrong planet? Now we have to go all the way back again. See what you did there, Howard. Stupid Howard. <laughs> God damn it. Your mouse movement is slow. Okay, if you just go in here to uh, options, to uh, controls. Uh, go into ship controls, go into FSS. And in here you have a FSS, no. You have a FSS mouse sensitivity. There it is. Why are we not moving? Power stopped the ship. Throw Howard out the airlock. He's not even on board the ship. We're just blaming Howard for everything. Welcome. He's going to need to dock here. <laughs> Got a ringed neutron star. Ooh. Thirty-three thousand light years from the bubble. What direction? I kind of want to see that. Because 33... Yep. We're like 26, so it's beyond the... But if it's, if it's not too far from SAG A, potentially we could only be like 6,000 away from it. That's right, there is one in the system of uh, collection of wonders. That's right. So I have actually seen it before. Hold on, oops, should probably slow down. Petition to the chat names the ship. Oh, we tried that. How do you think my combat corvette is called the cube cumber? <laughs> that was me deciding to let chat name my ship, and then everybody named it the cube cumber. And now, fun fun fact: the word cube cumber is being called by Frontier's profanity filter. I think about that. <laughs> Big boy gas up. Uh, okay, what do we have here? Oh, so we have nine probes. Nine. Screw that. I'm gonna try with six. It's probably not gonna work, but it's gonna do it anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna try one there. 
So that's seven, and then we have two more that we can use. You see how this look at the back? So we could put one there would probably be good. I've got a decent hit on that. And I've got to put one there. That's nine probes. Let's see. We just need seven percent. Four, five. You can't see from my face, probably. Put my silver up there. We're at 86. We need four percent from this. Seven, eight, nine. No! <laughs> And there's a button in the key bindings for seeing the back of the planet. I'm not sure if that's... Ah, this should be fine. Not gonna get a lot, we just need 1%. There we go, there it is. We didn't get the efficiency bonus. But that's all we wanted in the system. Was this undiscovered? Oh, it was! Aha! This one is mine. Mine, I tell you. Okay. Next system and route, let's go. Uh, Kelnon says, love you. Love, I'll try to get Love your work. Usually miss your streams because of work. Welcome. Glad you're here. Tranquil's stop in the Green Nebula. No, I haven't. 13 jumps. Ah, so close. Pips to engines. Ah, it's okay. 13 jumps. We can do 13 jumps. System scan complete. Let's go. Speed run. Well, maybe not. But did you see? So I've been streaming now for, what, two and a half hours, right? And I said I do around a thousand light years per hour when I live stream. Um, oh, hello, Lay Radio. Perfect timing. Lay Radio is radio over on Twitch with 43 people. We are about half an hour out from Sagittarius A. And uh, it's going to be the first time I'm in Sag A since before Horizons. <laughs> so... It's 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 been a minute since uh, since I've been here last, so um, should be fun. How many jumps in total? Twelve jumps back. I don't know how many is in total because I've been all over the place. I haven't been flying here in a straight line, and I've not been using neutral stars, so that's gonna add a few jumps to it. It's not far from Sagae. Um, okay, I might have to go and, and and check that out. Just go and check that system, see uh, see where that is. Oh, copy, copy faster, copy faster before we crash into a star. <laughs> I blame Howard for not going back to Sag A sooner. Oh, was that system complete? That was system complete. Nice. Uh, let's just check that system with the green nebula thing. Wee! Yeah, that is close. Oh, look at that. Oh, very pretty. Oh, I love the jet cones. And that might actually give me... Where's Colonia? Uh, it's kind of back the way I came. But that's okay. You know what? I'm going to screw that. I'm going to bookmark that. Green. Nebula. Safe. We're gonna go there on our way back. It's gonna be a few live streams and we'll be there. Charging. 
That would be perfect. We've got to fly back that way then. Yeah, the nebula looked awesome. I mean, we might be able to get some cool speed charge from the surrounding systems as well. I didn't honk that system either, did I? I forgot to honk again. I think we did. Oh well. It was likely just Raxler. Ten jumps to go. Nothing of interest. Moving on. Cool, always want to see that suit. Player passes through racks up twice in the day. Exactly. Um, Eric Carson, is this a crate? Yes, it is a crate phantom. Looks like it has pretty good jump rates. It's decent. It's not half bad. while we're here and let's go opinions on Thargoids well I don't know what, what do you mean like Thargoids need to die I guess <laughs> or oh, they're going to eat us I guess it's uh like Kill them or get eaten. Kinda deal. No, 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 no worry, no, no doubt about it, Eric. We are the aggressor when it comes to the Thargoids, but they're still gonna eat us alive if we don't. <laughs> I think I think at this point um, it's it's kind of too late <laughs> to to go back. And realistically, there was never going to be any other outcome because I know Frontier they said like oh they wanted to give us a choice on how we were to approach the Tharkos, and I'm sure there was a choice. But the problem with with a lot of Frontier's choices is always often it is either do something or do nothing. And, and when a player gets an, op an option to do something or nothing, most players is going to do something. So that means if you put Thargoids in the game, and we have the choice to shoot them or not to shoot them, most people are going to shoot them because they want to see what happens, they want to try. So, so if there were a choice, there needs to be yeah, something active you could do to prevent a hostile outcome with the Thargoid, and that was never really presented to the community. So I never really saw that there was any other way that the uh, that the outcome of the whole Thargoid, when they were introduced into the game, could never have gone any other way than that. Because that's just the nature of how... I mean, sure, in real life, if this has been, like, the real world, yes, then there is, of course, a choice, that doing nothing is a, is, is a choice, is, is, a, is a real option. But in a computer game, not so much. <laughs> yes, James says, if you love if you love something, set it free. If it doesn't come back, hunt it down and kill it. <laughs> Checking FSS, nothing there. Jumping, jumping, six jumps to sag A. Are we making good times now? I should probably jump back down that corner again. <laughs> I 
<laughs> um. In game, even if everyone agrees that we should do nothing, someone will do the opposite just because exactly. Like, there will always be that one guy who just want to watch the world burn, who is then gonna go and go all like shooty shooty pew pew, even if 99% of the community suddenly agrees that Thargoid's a friend and don't shoot them. Um, there will always be some that will continue to fight them, no matter what. Five jumps, we are saggy. Bodies found their toys, apparently. Nothing here. Can you guys hear it? The little bell thing. It's like a little wooden cage, a little like round wooden cage with a bell inside, and then they like to take it and like throw it around because apparently it's fun and it makes a funny sound when they when they when they throw it around. That would be nice if the, if the body camera actually worked, but body camera is broken today. <laughs> Are we low on fuel again? Yeah, we're low on fuel again. I'm getting out of my uh, out of my fuel habits here. Oh, 34 bodies in the system. It's gonna dive nice and deep into the stars here and should max out the, uh, the fuel scoop here there we go maxed it out nothing here that we want Do you do any astronomy in real life? Yes, I do. I'm glad you asked. If you want to see some more like real life astronomy, I have a um, uh, I have a second channel called Cosmic Curiosity, where I post more like um, astrophotography and real life astronomy stuff. Um, I decided to put that over there. So if you're interested in that, go look up Cosmic Curiosity, or just type exclamation mark CC in chat as Dungle just did for you, and. Um, and there's a second channel there. I think after this jump we have two more jumps and then we are at sack eight. More jumps. What do you think about the C1 spirit ships? Um, or CI spirit ships? Uh, sorry. So the Crusader industry spirit. Um, the C1, I'm not so sure about it. Um, I see it as a competitor to the um, to the Cutlass. Cutlass Black. But it's never gonna be an as good cargo ship as something like a Freelancer. Uh, so it's not. I don't really see the C1 as a dedicated cargo ship. It's more of a multi purpose ship, even though it's branded as a cargo ship. So how it stacks up combat wise, that's where it's gonna be interesting. 
does it, does it have the same massive fuel tank as you get on the Cutlass? Does it have the same combat capabilities as you get on the Cutlass? Looks like it's gonna be okay, combat-wise, we'll see. Um, especially because it has decent weaponry and apparently should have good fuel and maneuverability, or sorry, uh, speed and maneuverability. Um, the A1, not so psyched about that one. It's, it's a bummer. I'm not really, that's not really my thing. But the E1, I think, is going to be really, really cool. I'm really looking forward to the E1. Oh, you see it? You guys see that out there? That is Sage. We're just going to do a little detour. I just want to jump to the closest system I can. That's not SAG A, so that would be that system there. I just want to see what it looks like from there. Oh, no, that's where we are now. Hold on. Oops. My bad. Wait, where did my bookmark go? Ah. Is it S E G? I can never remember. I have it by bookmarks. I was sure I had a bookmark, it's right there. There's Sage. I just want to find a system that's very close to it. I should remove my filters now. Hold on. Uh, uh. So what's the closest system to Sag A? It's that one. So let's go to that one. I just want to see if we can see kind of the lensing effect. Um, does the center of a black hole have to? Or does the galaxy have to be a center of a galaxy? Has the center of a galaxy always a black hole, or could in theory be be a star in another galaxy? No, because then it would be a, cl a star cluster, and it wouldn't be big enough to be considered a um, be considered a black hole. It wouldn't be a black hole at all, actually. Okay, let's see if we can find Sac A now. A fleet carriers here. No surprise. Uh, I don't think, think there's any distortion here. Let's go. Say, hey, here we come. No, full throttle on jump. <laughs> I have auto throttle on, it's okay. Whee! Tonk it. There it is.
And all the fleet carriers. There's a place you just called the center. Just watch here as uh, as we fly around it. I need to zoom out a little bit here. Why am I stuck here? There we go, that's what I wanted. Fly into it? Okay. It is getting a little harder, we have no heat sinks. We're not getting any closer than this, I think. That's the closest we are going to be allowed to go. And this is going to be a, a hot one coming out of here. Five, ninety-seven. Come on, ninety-nine. And we're cooling down again. Ah, we could shut down the shields. It's okay. Small amount of heat damage. Never hurt anyone. Wow. Platinum pig, thanks a lot for uh, for the super chat. Awesome. <laughs> Come with a little bit of, of trivia here, says Milanon Fo. Melanoheliophobia is the fear of black holes. Well, now we know. A new fear I didn't wish I didn't know I had. <laughs> Luckily, I guess, like, the fear of black holes is not, I, it should be relatively, I mean, you gotta be careful what you say here, but, but, 
it, it should be copable. You should be able to cope with it. I mean, it's not like we have a lot of black holes in our vicinity. Uh, can we get into that thing there? The center? Is it a tourist beacon? Looks like a tourist beacon. Yeah, it's a tourist beacon. Yeah, I know, Dungle, we're getting really close to 100... 4,633 subs. I would guess they would put a tourist beacon somewhere where we could actually get into it. And now I'm gonna overshoot it. I'm gonna deselect it and slow us down. And reselect it. I came all this way and it's off center. <laughs> yeah. And it's full of belugas. Let's scan it. Let's see what it has to say. Damn it, this thing does not want to stop. I forgot to underspect the engines on this thing. Okay, we got a message. Secretarius A Star is a popular destination for explorers and travelers. It is a supermassive black hole, the type found in most spiral uh, and elliptical galaxies. But what other types of galaxies are there? Radio transmissions indicate the existence of uh, were very first discovered by yeah. Three. Nice. Did it. Sagay star. Very nice. So, I guess we should. Where's Explorers Actronach? Explorers... So we can figure out where that is. Um... Eh, really dangerous... Explorers... Should be right around here. I got the system name here. Saggy. Oh, double stars. Okay, you know, when you have these double star systems, there is something very, very important that you have to do. And it is mandatory. You cannot have double star systems like this without doing something first. Thread the needle, exactly. Should we dock and sell our uh, should we dock and sell our exploration data first or should we just, you know, <laughs> live on the edge and then do it and then if we and if we if we blow up we're gonna end up at the we're gonna end up back in Colonia with with like I don't know a year's worth of exploration data lost. Ah I did sell some to a fleet carrier at some point. Let's say half a year. I'm just gonna get a, a good run up here.
Okay, that should be enough distance. I'm just gonna slow us down here. Okay, time to thread the needle. Full speed, hands off the throttle, only steering allowed. <laughs> We are flying a Crate Phantom. <laughs> oh, that's not a lot of room there. I think we're good. Oh, <laughs> we got it, the fuel scooping red. <laughs> <Whee! laughs> oh, that's notable still a phenomenon here. Refuel too, yeah, exactly. We got a little bit of, of fuel out of that. I can never honk this system here, I should probably do that. Nothing exciting I want to land on, but... I think with all those... Hold on. All those planets there. Oh, there's an Earth-like. Ah, might as well. Are the triples close enough for that? I haven't found it yet. But there might be. <laughs> this is the moment when, when ship computers grab the emergency capsule, leave the ship. Pilot has gone crazy. <laughs> There's also something called Adventurized here. Uh, what's the minimum light here, jump range, you would say is good for a galactic equivalent to cross-country trip? Um, that depends how busy you are. Um, I would not be comfortable going lower than 40. It's gonna take a while with 40, but I flew from uh, I flew from the bubble to Colonia in a Python with 40 light years of jump range. That was fine, it took a while, but it was fine. So lower than that, uh, probably not. No drops, sorry. Uh, Andrew says he went to Colonia in a 36 light year. Yeah, I mean, you can absolutely do it. Yeah, Frontier does not do drops for their consecrators. They have drops on their own streams, but not for anybody else. They talked about it at some point, but I don't think it ever really... Yeah, it kind of does. Especially now that they only do one live stream every other week instead of every week. I think it would be a nice way to give people more chances to go and um, 
and grab some of those community paint jobs that you can get for drops. Um, I don't know. I think I know that they were like investigating it at some point. Um, there's been a lot of talk about it, but nothing really happened. Yeah, that's a good point, Uncle. If you're going, like, if you're truly going cross galaxies, you can get into troubles between the arms as systems there can be spread out quite a lot. So there, longer jump ranges may be needed, but often you can make it across with 40. And if you do get into a tight spot, you could always have, you should have enough at least for uh, for one or two synthesis, so you could do an FS, uh, FSS booster. Um, so you can cross those gaps if, if you get into, into problems. Now the big question is, how much money have we made doing this trip? I know it's difficult because you guys don't know how long I've been out. Twenty million, huge guess. I think it's more than that. How long does it take to get to Colonia? I think the record is like two and a half hours. Two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. Wait, 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 where's my auto dock? I don't use auto dock. I would actually like a super cruise assist. I'm probably gonna add that when I go back to Colonia and build a new exploration ship. Um, so, currently sitting at 424 million. So let's begin to sell some exploration data. And um, see how much money we make. This is gonna take a while. 50 credits and change. <laughs> yeah, there must be a lot of data. <laughs> Three feet. <fitty. laughs> DB in chat. What time is it? Oh, it's fair. How do they get so late? How does they always get so late? Is it dangerous each time? It really does. Yeah, so I think I think the the universal cartographer out here needs new hamsters because <laughs> it's got Yeah, still loading. Oh, there we go. So that one is red because it's it's too close to where we are, but that page, we have three pages apparently. This one is 33 million. That's a little underwhelming. Maybe it's just going to so Nah, it's not a lot then. Maybe a hundred mil then? I was hoping for more. Um, found me through Star Citizen. What keeps you interested in Elite? I think... see that message zero system sold well what keeps me interested in the league um it offers something that star citizen don't in the exact same way the star citizen offers something that elite does not right Let's click on the next page um so they they 
they scratch a different itch, right? Um, if I want to go and do something like what I've done today, where I want to just go out into the black and explore new planets and find something like we found a really pretty planet earlier. We went down and it was it looked nice and and just go and look at interesting systems and go and do some exploration. Feel like you're just not far away from everything out in the middle of nowhere. Elite does that extremely well. And obviously Star Citizen don't. You have one system, right? Um, but there are other things that, that Star Citizen does better than Elite. Like the mining system, for instance, in Star Citizen is superb. Well, that was it. That was quite underwhelming. So, I, so it, it's, it's sometimes, depending on what I want to do, I will either go into one or the other, right? Um, so I don't necessarily see it... Like, I've never understood that whole, you if you if you like one, you can't like the other. Like, you have to be Team Elite or you have to be Team Star Citizen. It doesn't make sense to me. I mean, they're two different games. They offer two different things. And if you can appreciate the games of what they offer, you can absolutely enjoy playing both games. There are days or maybe even weeks where I'm just like, you know what, I don't feel like Star Citizen right now. Or maybe I don't feel like Elite right now. And I'll play the other. And I'll switch back and forth. Um, so it comes. Depends. Well, that was a little underwhelming. I was hoping for quite a bit more. Well, I think that that's going to be it for today. We made it to a station for the first time since, well, forever. Um, deep Space Surveyor's reputation. Oh, we got reputation with the local station. That was all the messages. Nice. Um, yeah. Pastoral will kill us next time in a settlement when we don't... Say, if somebody comes back from exploring. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, if you're on a Discord server, and if you're coming back from a long exploration trip, um, you can try to ping one of our faction planners. If you don't know where to sell your, your expo data, uh, exploration data, you can try to uh, ping one of our... Um, uh, faction planners, they'll probably tell you what station would be beneficial for our faction. So if you want to, uh, to help out the faction, then uh, you can just go to Discord and ping one of our faction planners. And they will tell you where the best place to be to sell your data if you want to do that. Okay, as I said, that's going to be it for today. Um, there's going to be more exploration streams in the future. Maybe we're going to do another one next week. Remember, there's the giveaway for the paint jobs next week. I don't know what they look like yet. I haven't had the chance to look. But I know that there's going to be some paint jobs that's going to be given away on next week's live stream. Maybe there's going to be a bonus live stream. I'm going to throw that in if I have the time. If I, because right now I am four referrals away. Cam's broken. Cam is broken. End card's broken. Everything's broken today. Hold on, let me check. Okay, now we're on the end card. Now it looks right. That was weird. Ah, okay, now the end card's working. Okay. I, as I said, I was like four referrals away from um, from from getting the um, uh, Million Mile High Club. And if I get access to that, I uh, might do a bonus live stream. And then we can go and uh, and take a look at the Million Mile High Club when I get access. I'm just quickly logging in here to see how far I am. But while I do that, just remember that there's still the discount code Blame Howard over on uh, my merch store. So go to d2astore.com, check out the merchandise. There's new desk mats, there's some bunny, um, some bunny uh, merch as well. You can go and check out. And let me just see how close we are. We are at still 38, so still four referrals away. Just as before the stream. So, but yeah, so there's at least going to be live stream next week, and there's also going to be one, maybe one during the week when I reach the, when I get access to the million mile high club. Um, I don't know if it's getting added immediately or how that works. 
figure that out. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. Hope you had as well. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I would really appreciate it if you would consider doing so. And I almost forgot, we should rate someone. I always forget to rate people over on Twitch, so we're just gonna find someone on Twitch that we can go and, and, and rate. Who is playing Elite on Twitch? Someone who's playing Elite. Hold on, let me see here. Browse. Elite. Why can't I find Elite Dangerous? Let's do it the, the old-fashioned way here. Like that. Uh, is this is Yamik streaming on Twitch? I thought he was only on YouTube. Oh, he is still streaming, isn't he? But he's not... Is he live now? It would be fun, like, someone with a... With a smaller viewer base. Check this guy out. Okay, there's a guy here who is... Uh, looks like he's doing some Guardian stuff. Alright, to the terminal, which is right in the middle. We're gonna send it over to him. Smaller streamer, let's show him some love. He's probably gonna be happy, I hope, at least. So, we're gonna go and... Create a quick raid and send you guys over. Okay, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys in space.